Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create collage templates in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is all about sticking different images together. Now this is gonna be super helpful for anyone who's got a blog or a website where maybe you wanna display a couple different images in a series and you don't wanna take up a ton of space. People will often use a main image and then other smaller detail images to support the main image. In this episode, we're gonna show you how to bring multiple different images together into one photo. We'll show you how to create a template to make it easy to do this over and over again. And we're even including the templates we use in this episode for download on flurn.com. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. Now we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need a blank document and we're gonna need some images to fill it. So our blank document, I'm gonna hit Control or Command N for that. And we're gonna make this 1500 by 1500 pixels. All right, let's hit okay. That'll be determined on like what you actually want the final size of your collage to be. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is load our pictures. So I'm gonna go to File, we're gonna go to Scripts, and I'm gonna go to Load Files into Stack. All right, let's just hit Browse, and I'm gonna go ahead and shift click on these four images. These are stock images from fotolia.com. And let's hit OK, and it's gonna pull them all together. Bunch of kids having fun on the beach. Um, <laughs> again, I don't know these people at all. These was just stock images. Okay. Now I've got my stock images and I've got what's going to be my collage or my diptych or my triptych. So I'm gonna shift click all of these files here. I'm gonna hit Control or Command G to group them together. And then I'm gonna just click and drag them from one document over to the other. All right, so these are basically just all my files. And now this is gonna be ready to actually create our document, our collage. Okay, so we have these files and everything looks good to go. What I really want here is I want to define each of these images to only be visible in one part of the image or another one. And I'm going to use layer masks to do that. All right, so let's start with our first photo here. I'm going to go ahead and bring it out of the group. And now let's pretend this is a little bit bigger. I'm going to hit Control T and we're just going to scale this a little bit larger there. Now let's say we only want this image to be visible on the bottom half of our image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to create a group. I'm gonna hit Control or Command G and group this image with itself. Now I'm gonna put a layer mask onto the group. So we have a group, the only thing in it is this layer, and now we have a layer mask right here. So the group layer mask is going to define everything that's visible inside of that group. And this is what's going to allow us to create the sections. Okay, now here are my group layer mask. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna hit Shift Delete and I'm gonna fill this with black. Now black on a layer mask makes everything invisible. So we're gonna hit okay, and all of a sudden, surprise, I don't see this photo anymore because the layer mask is black. Now I'm gonna grab my marquee tool right up here, and I'm just gonna create a rectangular marquee, something right about there. This area is my selection here. And then on my layer mask, I'm gonna hit shift delete, which brings up my fill dialog, and I'm gonna go down to white. There we go. Now let's deselect by hitting command D. So the reason I've created the layer mask on the group is now I'm free to click on my image and move it wherever I want to. So you can see I can move my image and nothing changes about the layer mask because the layer mask is actually on the group. Let's hit Command T and I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down a little bit. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Now if I decided I want more of this image to be visible, all I have to do is click on my layer mask and hit Command T on that and I can move my layer mask up and down. You just wanna make sure to click on that chain link before you do. So Command T, I can move this layer mask up and down, but my image is staying in the exact same place, which makes this very, very easy. Okay, now let's say we want an image here on the left and here on the right. We're basically gonna be using this same technique, just providing different shapes to define the visibility of our images. All right guys, now we're gonna step it up a notch. I wanna make sure that my image is directly divided right down the middle. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna create a new layer here, and you know what, I'm just going to hit Command or Control A, that's gonna select everything, and I'm gonna hit Shift Delete, and we'll say fill this with my foreground color, which in this case is just this red color. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, I actually want this to be only taking up half of my image, so I actually, I wanna divide this by half. 
I'm going to hit Controller Command T to bring up my transform dialog again. I'm going to change my pointer. You can see my my control point here is located in the middle. I want this actually go all the way to the left and pop, click right over there. So that means when I scale this image, it's only going to scale from the left. All right, and now we're going to type in our width. We want it to be 50%. There we go. So basically just a really easy way to make sure that I have a shape that's divided whatever my canvas is directly in half. OK, looking good. So now let's say I wanted to bring this image in. And I want this, again, to only be visible there on the left. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this image in a group. So we're going to hit Controller Command G. We've got Group 3. And now I'm just going to Control Command click right here on this shape. We don't need this shape forever, by the way. I'm just, get, I'm just basically making it so I can have a shape that will wind up defining my collage. So let's make that invisible. And now I'm going to click on my layer mask. OK, there we go. And so with our layer mask being visible here on the left, this image inside of it, I'm free, again, to move around however, however I want. I can scale it. I can size it. I can do whatever I want with it. And it's only going to be visible right there, because the layer mask is telling it to do that. All right, let's go ahead and pull out our other image. Let's, go, let's bring this image out. There we go. And now I'm just going to group this again with itself. And this time I'm going to create this layer mask here. I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click and drag from this group down to this other one. There we go. So we have the same layer mask from the left and the right. Let's just show you guys how that works. So this is the same layer mask, and that's the same layer mask. They're showing up in the same place. But a layer mask just shows what's visible and not visible based on white and black. So what I'm going to do now is invert this layer mask by hitting Control, control or Command I. There we go. And now it's only visible on the right-hand side. So if I make that visible and I make that visible, well, you can see I can move my images around now really, really easily. So I can open up any of these groups now, and I can move around the images to fit my liking. Now, I know that may seem like a lot of work, guys, but this is now a template that I can use forever. So once I've done that, all I have to do is pop my images into these groups, and immediately I have this to work with. So let's go ahead and shift click the three of those groups. I'm going to shift click those, hit Control or Command G to group them together. All right, and we're just going to call this set one. There we go. And I can continue to do this all day long. Now, you might be saying, like, oh, but look at this. If I make this invisible, you, we can see like a little bit of overhang here on the top and the bottom. I want this to be perfectly cut off for all the groups. It's actually not hard at all. Just hold down Control or Command click right here on this layer mask which will always select out the white part of a layer mask. So now you can see this is, in fact, being selected. And then on this layer mask, I'm just going to hit Shift-Delete, and I'm going to fill this with black. There we go. And you can see the bottom of it did get filled with black. This one, I'm going to hit Shift-Delete and fill that one with black as well. So now we can see, in fact, these are the only areas that are going to be visible. And again, if I wanted to rotate these images, like let's say I want to put this image you know what? I want to put this image in the top left corner instead. All I do is put it inside of that group. And I use my Move tool, and we put it right there, and we're good to go. So it's very, very simple to move these images around. All right, so this is a great example of a triptych. Let's go ahead and do one more example, be a little bit quicker this time, and you can see just how easy this is. All right, guys, we're going to get a little bit more advanced with this. We're actually going to use some angles on our next triptych. OK, so we've got our first triptych. Let's go ahead and make that invisible. I'm going to create a new layer. We're going to group this with itself. And now I'm just going to use our lasso tool. We're going to use a polygonal lasso tool. We'll start up there, go right about down there. There we go, and hit Enter. So we're going to start off using this top left corner. All right, let's click on our layer mask button. And you can see if I already have a selection active, it's going to load that in the layer mask. So this is what the layer mask now looks like for that layer, which is perfect. OK, let's go ahead and plop an image in there to see what that looks like. All right, let's put it in our group. And now we can see that's what this image looks like in our group. Let's just move it to somewhere. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. You know what? Let's go ahead and make it a little bit larger. All right. Yeah, we have a guitar. We're having the best time ever. Cool. Looks pretty good. All right, now our next one, let's just go ahead and create a new layer again. I'm going to grab my lasso tool, 
we're going to create a shape right about here. And you know what? This time we're just gonna bring it all the way up there. All right, now we're gonna group this with itself and I'm gonna go ahead and click on my layer mask. Okay, let's go ahead and grab an image and we're gonna pull it into that group now. So we're just gonna pull this into that group and now we can see this is where our image is showing up. Already looking like a surf company ad. Wow, a diptych or triptych with, <laughs> they didn't use just squares, amazing. All right, let's go ahead and transform that and make it a little bit bigger. All right, hit that checkbox and we're good to go. Cool, all right, and then for our last one. So we're gonna create a new layer again. Let's just grab our, there we go. Lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool. I'm gonna make a selection like that. We're gonna group this with itself and then put a layer mask on there. And then this image is going inside of that group now. All right, so we basically use the exact same idea here, guys. We're just changing the shape of the layer masks. And you could do this with every single image you had. You can click and move around these around really easily and place them in different parts of your photo. Now, this is probably not the best way to do that. In fact, I don't even know if I like it, but it's really nice to know that you can use different shapes as well. All right, and if you did wanna change things around, check this out. I can just click on the layer mask for this group. Make sure you uncheck the chain link there, and I can hit Control or Command T, and I can stretch out just the layer mask if I'd like. I can make the layer mask, oh, let's go ahead and zoom out. I can make the layer mask a little bit larger also. There we go. So I'm able to move the photo and the layer mask completely separately, which is the best way to create a diptych or a triptych or a collage in Photoshop. Here are the key steps. First, you'll want to define an area where you want your image to be. Then once you've defined that area using either the marquee tool or the lasso tool, go ahead and load that as a layer mask on the group. That way, any photo you put inside of that group is gonna be limited to just that area. Then all you have to do is repeat the same steps for different photos. Keep in mind, if you want something divided exactly by half, just simply create a shape and fill the entire screen with it, and then hit Control or Command T, and then change your width or your height to 50%, and that's going to get it to half of the original size. And for some fun, throw some angles in there like we did with our second example. Might not be the most useful all the time, but it will create a unique triptych. And when you're done, just save them for the web, put them on your blog, and you're good to go. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. I hope this helped out when you're creating all kinds of different stories together and putting them on your blogs and websites and Instagrams and Facebooks and whatever have you. And to download the templates from today's episode, as well as a few more, just go to flurn.com to this episode and just click on your screen right now. We'll put a big link and then you can click and download them so you don't have to actually create them yourself. If you like what you learned today and you wanna get more from flurn.com, just hit that subscribe button on your screen right now. We send you free Photoshop photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or a comment about today's episode, just leave it right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flurn you later. Bye, everyone. Then repeat the same steps for different areas. Then repeat the same steps for different areas. All right, then repeat the same steps. Well, we could put it. All right, now let's say I only want this. Blah, 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 blah. All right, so the layer mask. Blah.